Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, the funny British man. You know, the one you always see, you get the idea. So I was originally gonna do a FNAF 4 video, you know, because of 1, 2, 3 and all, <laughs> you know. But, um, I ran into some, uh, issues. I mean, for example, when I recorded it, uh, not only did it suck ass, but OBS captured nothing. Oh, the game runs very slowly. Listen carefully, if you hear breathing, hold the door shut. If you do not hear breathing, then use your flashlight. Flick of the mouse or two. So FNAF 4 does not want to work. And then when I went to fix it, the game looked like this. It's a bit sh So I decided instead of skipping directly to sister location, because it just wouldn't make sense, I decided to do a commentary video, you know, change up the field a bit. I've always wanted to do commentary videos, I've seen other YouTubers do it, and, uh, it's something I really wanted to do for a long time. And, um, yeah. One of the, uh, uh, stories I wanted to tell was about how I became Snap's editor. I've mentioned a lot on my channel that I'm Snap's editor, and it's something you, you can't really explain, because it's one of the things I really hate doing. Not because, not, not because I don't like it, but because I don't get paid for it. But Snap is in crippling debt, so, uh, let's talk about that, shall we? So this began in around, uh, October, I want to say. Um, and, uh, Snap uploaded a video simply called Among Us, and it was a 40-minute, very badly edited, um, uh, Among Us gameplay. You know, normal, right? And, uh, I wasn't invited because I was asleep, because I'm British and they're Americans. And, um, so she played it with, uh, Darkston Syrup and, um, Madeline, who was known as Fen back then. Or Sage, depending on how old this video is. And, um, I saw that video, and my reaction was, uh, well, basically this. Serious? I often make fun of Snap about this video and, you know, she takes it in stride. Um, but I didn't, I actually don't remember how I asked her, because right? um, I couldn't find any uh, DMs or anything asking if I could edit the video. Um, but I really did not just like want to watch a 40 minute video and there be no excitement. Uh, you know, it's just going to be pl us playing Among Us. And then just, uh, just a very bad 40 minutes. But um, then I just said, I think it was in a call maybe. Uh, and I said, what if I edited the video and spared all of us this trouble? And Snap said, sure, why not? We had no idea what we were doing. I had no idea what I was doing. And uh, this would eventually lead to the disaster that was my first video I ever edited for Snap. <laughs> and oh boy, is it terrible. Uh, I added sound effects for some reason. Um, and uh, I thought they would be funny. And not to mention, this was my first video on Snap's channel. And, uh, and the introduction to me was very bad because I had uh, a very bad microphone. Uh, it was a toaster of a microphone, the BM800. Uh, which is very bad compared to my new microphone, the HyperX Quadcast, which I use, uh, for everything now, and I love it, and it's amazing. I mean, had I not got that BM800, it's most likely I would have used my webcam mic, which was arguably worse, because every word I said, even if it was a whisper, sounded like I was screaming my lungs out. So, that's a good thing I didn't go with that. However, despite the bat the very bad, um editing on my part the video did well for itself on you know by snap standards you know it has 120 views it doesn't sound like much but considering snaps kind of content that's a lot then i did another one and uh snap basically ruined the video i mean i was proud of this video i did 
uh, an edit that made me laugh. It was uh, the uh, um, the Peppa Pig one where you know don't splash us with water, Daddy, and then it just comes down and it's syrup dying. I was proud of that edit because it was so smooth. So it was fine, but then Snap said maybe it could use some music, and I'm like, I've already rendered the video. It's ready to go, and so she said. Okay, and then she uploads the video. I'm thinking, oh, that's fine. Then I'm greeted with this. Why am I live? Apparently, I am live. Apparently, and I don't even, and I'm not, and I don't even know. You why. can barely why hear anyone. Well, death to Britain. She put the music over the <laughs> intro music I had put in, and to add insult to injury, the frame rate and quality became worse. This is something we're going to touch on in a little bit. Somehow, that video did better than the first one. And the video I did next, where I added music willingly, because Snap wouldn't stop pestering me about it, it did worse. <laughs> I don't understand this. What, what am I doing wrong? But, to be fair, this was like a year ago, and my editing skills have improved significantly since then. You know, like, <laughs> no silly sound effects, no music, no nothing that ran in places. I also want to point out, Snap has... I don't know how she does it, but there's... She makes quality worse. And she doesn't take it into a, a video editor, make it 360p, and then upload it to YouTube. No. She does not... She has no patience, basically. And, um... Uh... She uploads it, she doesn't wait for everything to render. I mean, I render most most of her videos I've rendered in uh, 720p, 60 frames per second. And then Snap somehow turns it into um, like 360, 30 frames. Don't know how she does it, and you know, especially with the, uh, the night one, the, the phone calls, I don't know how she managed to get a 1080p video into 360. Either the way she gets these videos is just from a very crappy website. No clue, but anyway, on to important things. Then I didn't edit another video for Snap for another four months. And then we did the Quiplash video, which was the introduction, well, the reintroduction of Fox Fox. The, um, Fox Fox's original appearance was on Snap's channel a long time ago uh, on one of Snap's videos, but it's now privated. But this was the reintroduction of Fox Fox and also uh, was the introduction of Fox Fox making Snap's thumbnails. Uh, so Snap, whenever Snap needed a thumbnail, instead of a very crap stock image, uh, Fox Fox would make one for her. And uh, he's only done two, but he's done a good job good on him. Now, you know, I've pretty much covered uh, everything there is to know about my editing and the history behind it. Now we get to um, the real deal. Money. So, uh, we agreed that uh, I would get paid for this, and I still haven't been paid. Um, but I said, um, it started off as a joke. I said, what if you pay me for this, you know, give me some money. And they said, no, 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 no. They said, okay, I'm joking, I'm joking, you know, that kind of stuff. Then it became real. And I said, but because Snap isn't monetized, not because she's not eligible, she just doesn't know how. Uh, <laughs> um, I said, how about we do $20, $20 per video? How's that? And she said, yeah, that's fine. And, uh, you know, I've done about six videos for her. Um, and then uh, we said, okay, that's $120. And then we did one recently, the FNAF 1 phone calls. But since that wasn't really a planned, um, that wasn't a planned video, we, we just, it just happened. I just... They started playing the FNAF 1 phone calls and I recorded it. You know, I pretended and be like, oh, what, what, no, 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 and you know, all that stuff. And I said, 
instead of paying me 20 because that wasn't really planned, why don't we just do 10? So yeah, the current debt is $130. Um, so I'm still waiting for that, but I'm not demanding it, you know? That's, that's all like my character is demanding money and he needs the money. He wants it now, but in reality, you know, they're taking their time, you know, they're, you know, they're, you gotta, you gotta admit, they're like, how old are they? They're like 13, 14 years old. I don't know how old she is. Um, so obviously she's not going to cough up the money like that. Um, but you know, but it bothered me for a long time because she was always paying for Discord Nitro when she was always, uh, giving commissions to people uh to draw their to draw their art and i'm like why aren't you paying mike why, why don't you just pay me he said i want to give my friends money this was the actual excuse and this led to many disagreements between me and snap uh a lot of falling out a lot of blocking a lot of reporting uh well not a lot of reporting you know <laughs> Don't know why I said that. But yeah, it did put a strain on our relationship, but then she just said, all right, fine, I'm, I'm gonna stop. She still hasn't stopped. She still bought Discord Nitro and still is commissioning people, but not as much as she used to, you know? And uh, yeah, that's basically the story of how I became Snap's editor and why she's in debt. And um, I would do a video on how I met everyone, you know, the gang, like Darkston, Syrup, uh, Vice, Minty, Random, all the, all those guys you see in my channel's uh, description. And um, I think Snap could do that. I think Snap could do a good job commentating, because, you know, she's been making content... Well, she's been making gaming content longer than I have. I've been making content way before she even started YouTube. And... Um, yeah. So, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say on that whole dilemma. Uh, thank you all for watching, and, um, stay safe out there in this crazy world we call life.